Hello guys and gals, so I'm going to be working on the challenge mode videos for this event unless they uh, differ greatly from the standard mode events. So this first map's quite swarmy, uh, these pocket crawlers are not friendly in the way they come out, but that's okay. So that's the map, and what we're going to do is go through and two standard vanguards. Uh, I've got mostly four stars because of the damage that goes around. It's quite an unpleasant amount of damage. Um, two standard healers, two uh, healing defenders, two standard snipers, uh, some AOE snipers. I have Padenko, but she's not super required. She was just another form of AOE that I brought along. You can really replace her with anybody you like. Uh, another form of DPS, I should say. Not so much just anybody you like, so... Whoever tickles your fancy. Uh, and I also have a ranged guard. I was trying to use Padenko for something, but it didn't quite work out the way I thought it would. So we're going to start off with our vanguards, so Courier and Scavenger. And we're going to deploy one sniper here, and the other sniper opposite. Uh, after that, we're going to deploy our first healer. So as you can see, most things sort of fan out enough to allow us some sort of uh, usage of our snipers, which are in funny locations. I did just deploy Midnight there. Uh, Midnight is essentially just there to grab, and the reason we have a range guard is obviously so that he can attack over the top of things. So I kind of want him for a dual use, so that's why I have Midnight specifically and not someone like, say, Melantha. So our first crawler is out, so I'm going to use for male skill to try and cut back as many enemies as I can. And on top of that, I am going to be deploying in my tanks, so I'm going to use that, run that back, and Midnight is done, I don't need him anymore. And my ranged, my AoE, sorry, snipers, <laughs> and last but not least my second healer. So the idea is, essentially, hopefully these two snipers do clear out enough of the swarm that my healers only have to cope with the damage coming in from these crawlers. Because the damage coming in from those crawlers is a little bit nasty. Uh, I do expect Cruz to actually die. I know that's probably horrible, but... Uh, Cruz, I don't believe, has the health to actually walk it off. So that's kind of why I have Padenko, and I say that you can just bring whoever. Uh, I was using, as I said, I was using Padenko for another reason, but... Uh, the reason didn't work, so... Here we are. So, as you can see, that wave's fairly fine. I'm not too fussed about that. It's this wave that I need to worry about. <clears throat> because this wave is quite nasty. So, I'm going to just sit here and there we go. Wait for that group to come out. I'm going to use the skill. The male skill. Now, if you have another sniper with a split, it's 
attack skill, so blue poison, blue poison replaces Cruz, obviously. Um, once again, I'll use my AoE sniper's skill to start clearing out some enemies. So I'm going to use spot skill here, because obviously there's going to be a lot of damage coming through. And I'm going to replace things, at this point I'm going to replace things as I need to. If something goes down, I'm just going to take a rough assessment of what goes down, and I'll replace it. Uh, if something leaks through, which doesn't look like it's going to, I will just grab, say, Midnight, and I'll just plop him in behind so he can still assist attacking over the top. But that's it. Uh, I just have this one drone left to go out. There we go. And that's it. Uh, so it's all about spacing out the damage as much as you can. It's not too horrible. Uh, it's just about having a nice set of operators to help mitigate the damage and not leaving yourself too short. I was using three stars, but the damage tended to rack up a bit too much. So that's why I brought some four stars in to make it a uh, reliable clear. So I hope that helps, guys. If it does, like, subscribe, and I hope to see you for the next one.